Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from Talent Up Skill Class 6 English Version Math Exercise 2.2. Question number 6. David has obtained 600 marks out of 900 in the terminal exam. What is the percentage of marks he has obtained? So we have to find out the percentage of marks he has obtained. Just to make you understand, let me draw mango. This is one mango, this is one, this is two, and this is three. So if I say one mango of three mango, what we understand by this? If we write one mango of three mango means one is one third of this three. So one mango of three mango, one by three, one third of three. So one mango of three mango means one by three. Similarly, we can say 600 marks of 900 marks, 600 marks of 900 marks equals to 600 by 900 equals to. Now we have to express as percentage. That means separate 1 by 100. 600 by 9 into 100 equals to 600 by 9 separate 1 by 100 because that is percentage. Now simplify this part. Divide both by 3. This will be 200 and this will be 3. So equals to 200 by 3 percent means if we convert it to mixed fraction this will be 66 2 by 3 percent. Determine the ratio of the total and the obtained marks. So we have to find ratio equals to total and the obtained. Total marks is to obtained marks. Now just put the value of total marks. Total marks is 900, 900 is to obtain marks 600, it will be 600 equals to, we can make it fraction 600, simplify double zero, double zero gone and then divide both by 3, this will be 3, this will be 2, if we divide by 3 equals to. 3 by 2 equals to 3 is to 2. Let us keep this part separate so that we do not mix it with the actual answer. Now question number 7. So here uh, we can see two price. One is price written on the cover 120 and the other one is actual price. The person paid is 84 taka. Cover price equals 220 taka and the other one is actual price equals to 84 taka from these two price we get the commission m m i double s i o n so if we deduct the actual price from cover price, we get the commission. That is 6 and 3, 36 taka. The question was, how much commission in percentage has he obtained? So commission 36 taka of cover price. 
120 taka. You see here, one mango of three mango means one by three or one third. Similarly, commission 36 taka off cover price will be 36 by 120 equals to. Now they said we have to find out the commission in percentage. So if we express this fraction as percentage, we have to follow the old method that is multiply by 100, multiply by 100 equals to. Now separate 1 by 100, 36 multiply 100 divided by 120 multiply 1 by 100 because this is percent equals to if we simplify 0 gone then divide both by 12 this is 3 so it will be 30 percent question number 8 the monthly income of a service holder is taka 15,000 his monthly expenditure is taka 9,000 what is the percentage of the expenditure of the income so if you remember one mango of three mango one of three means one by three similarly expenditure of income expenditure 9000 taka of income 15000 taka will be like 1 by 3 it will be 9000 by 15000 9000 by 15000 now they said what is the percentage we have to express this fraction as percentage so it will be 9000 if we separate 1 by 100 it will be 150 multiply 100 equals to 9000 by 150 multiply 1 by 100 equals to just simplify 0 0 gone divide both by 15 it will be 6 so 6 and 0 60 60 multiply 1 by 100 means percent so 60 percent that is the answer let us separate this part it is not part of answer now question number 9 the monthly school fees of Schweb are taka 200 his mother gives him taka 20 as tiffin expense. What is the percentage of expenditure for his daily tiffin to the monthly school fees? We have to find the ratio and then percentage. How we find the ratio? Here, 1 mango of 3 is 1 by 3. So, 20 taka of 200 taka or tiffin expense, tiffin expense is to monthly school fees monthly school fees equals to 20 is to what is the monthly school fee it is 200 so as fraction this will be 20 by 200 if we simplify 10 equals to 1 by 10 they are asking us to express this ratio as percentage uh, we know how to express as percentage we just multiply both by 100 both numerator and denominator 10 multiply 100 now we separate 1 by 100 because percent means 1 by 100 so 
we separate 100 here 10 multiply 1 by 100 equals to simplify so this is 10 10 percent thank you very much if you have any question please write it in the comment box thank you allah